session of the Feast PICCAM Awesome Kids Ministry! I do hope and pray that you and your loved ones remain safe and healthy at the comfort of your own homes. Kids, were you able to watch our online session last Sunday? Great if you did! But for those who missed it, you can still ask your parents to assist you in logging on to the Feast PICCAM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page so you can view our past episodes. Allow me now to give a shout out to our first timer, Awesome Kids! For joining us for the very first time, let me give you one awesome clap. One, two, three, one, two, three, awesome! Please do join us every Sunday, kids! And now let's start our session with a prayer and a joyful worship! Prayer position, kids! In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome kid. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Kids, are you ready? Let's worship!
Awesome kids! Thank you so much for tuning in for another session of Spiritual Growth. I'm Teacher Dance. We are now on Talk 9 which is about the law against revenge entitled New Human. Question my dear kids. When someone hurts you, how do you react? For example, when your little brother accidentally destroys your favorite toy, what are you gonna do to him? Or when your classmate hits you, do you hit back? Be honest, my dear kids. Do you usually fight or answer back? When we are in pain, our feelings will make us seek for revenge. Thus, sometimes we go into fights or into verbal arguments. We also sometimes wish ill for the evil doers. And when we see them suffer, we even say, Puti nga sayo. It is something that is very natural for us human beings to retaliate or seek punishment to those who hurt us. It is something that is wired in our brain to readily protect ourselves. In the same way that when a mosquito bites you, you feel the pain and instantly, even without thinking, you slap it with your palm. This is called self-preservation. Can you say that again? Yes, it's self-preservation. It's an old law of justice where we seek an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Self-preservation actually comes from fear. However, as followers of Jesus, we're not just any other human beings. We are bigger than our human nature. And that's our big message for this Sunday. I am bigger than this. Put your palm on your chest and say, I am bigger than this. Yes, my dear kids, when Jesus came to earth, he debunked the old law of self-preservation to make way for a new humanity who will think and act differently. Do you want to be part of this new breed of humans? Instead of self-preservation, Jesus calls us to self-sacrifice. Say that again, self-sacrifice. For us Christians, self-sacrifice is who we are. It is the essence of our being. In Romans 12, chapter 19, St. Paul said, Dear friends, never take revenge and leave that to the righteous anger of God. This is the meaning of self-sacrifice, that we allow God's justice to prevail and not take matters into our hands and trust that God is a righteous God. So how do we not take revenge and practice self-sacrifice instead? As followers of Jesus, there are three things that we need to sacrifice. Number one, pride. When someone insults us, we feel bad because our pride is hurt. For example, when your classmate tells you, oh, your drawing is awful. That would definitely be very painful. What you can do is to remind yourself that you are bigger than this, that you are bigger than your pain, that you are a giant, that you are loved by a giant great God. When we let go of our pride, we will be able to focus our attention on serving our purpose and loving others more. Number two, rights. I don't mean your basic human rights, but rather your entitlements. Remember, Jesus had a rightful seat at the throne, being the Son of God. But what did he do? He gave up this right for the sake of love. There are also so many things that are rightfully yours that you can give up so you can love bigger. For example, when your little brother really loves your favorite toy, you can be a bigger person and your heart will be fuller if you can sacrifice for his happiness. Number three, comfort. More often than not, we want so many nice things. The latest gadgets, toys, trendy clothes, food, shoes. And we want them now. No one wants inconveniences or discomfort. However, we can also sacrifice our comfort because there are so many greater things than the things we want like relationships, peace, love, friendship. Let me tell you a story, dear kids. I can tell you how many times I've seen kids throwing tantrums in the mall because their parents are not buying the items that they are pointing at. And so in the hope of forcing their parents and getting back at them, they misbehave. 
But then if you think of it, very clearly, my dear kids, isn't family more important than toys? Isn't having food at home a blessing already? When we do not focus on our comfort, we will be able to love and serve more. Jesus is asking us to embrace this new teaching that instead of self-preservation, we move to self-sacrifice. That's why our big message is, I am bigger than this. He is calling us to rise above our human nature of seeking revenge by sacrificing three things. What are those three again? Pride, rights, and comfort. Jesus, during his time on earth, was hurt so many times, but never did he retaliate. Instead, he sacrificed himself on the cross and look at the fruit that it bore, salvation for the entire humanity. He gave up his pride, his rights, his comfort, ultimately because he loves us. Thank you so much, awesome kids! See you again next Sunday! Hi, awesome kids! I'm Teacher Peggy. How are you today? I hope you're all safely settled at home with your families. Welcome to our fun activity. Are you excited? Before we begin, give yourself one awesome cup. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome! Today we'll learn that kids like you should never take revenge or fight back when you are wrong. Because God says you are better and bigger than the insults and the wrong things done to you. God loves all kids and He wants all of you to follow Him and to keep up your heart for others. And that makes you a true prince or princess to our one and only kid. So let's prepare the following materials in creating your I Am God's Prince or Princess craft. You will need a piece of cardboard or a tape sheet of paper, sheets of colored paper, colored markers, a pair of scissors, paste or glue. First, ask the help of your parents or guardians in cutting the base to avoid hurting yourself. Now get the cardboard or a thick sheet of paper and use it as a base of your crown. Measure it around your head and make markings to where you should cut it. After you have finished cutting, paste both ends together. Next, we will use the colored pieces of paper to cut circular or diamond shapes as accents and decoration on your crown. After cutting the colored shapes, write down all the good deeds and prayers you have for those who have wronged you. Our last step is to paste all these shapes at the base of your crown. Make it colorful and add more decorations as you wish. It's so easy, right? I hope you had fun creating your prince or princess crown with your parents and siblings. One awesome girl for your great work and participation. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome! We would love to see you wearing your crown, so ask mom or dad to take a photo of you and post it in the comment section of the TCICCAM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page. We, your teachers, will wait for it. Again, always remember that the true prince and princess of God will never take revenge or fight back because you are better and bigger than the wrong things done to you. Keep with you our big message for today, I am bigger than this. Thank you and see you next Sunday, awesome kids! Let us now get ready to pray our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday! Stay safe! God bless you!